Yeah. What, what, so let me ask you then, before I move to Hooks and Jamie on this, let me just cl- last you ask on this, because look, I think Ange came in to Tottenham and I had to sit there as an Arsenal fan and go, oh, I kind of like him. I kind of like him in the media. I kind of like everything he's saying. That's hard for me to admit. And then when you started, you were flying. And I thought, oh, wow, OK, he's coming. He's got some attacking football straight away. When it's kind of been found out, I'm then looking at him to say, right, use your managerial now to go, right, they've kind of worked that out. Now I need to change things up a little bit. And I'm not seeing enough of that, Jacob. But you're saying that you think he will get it right. Do you think he will change anything? Or do you think he'll just stick by what he knows and, and just hope that it, it it changes? My interpretation of... So everyone's got a different interpretation, right? You just said that what you saw versus Brighton was a man who had no idea, didn't know what he was doing. And look lost when they were cut to him when when Brighton came when back three two. two. Yeah, when it went three two, I thought, wow, yeah. he's um, he looks like he's lost. And, and everyone has, uh, you know, their own relevant opinion about a man's body language, but I do agree with everybody saying that I would have liked to see sub sooner. If you saw my watch long, I was screaming to get Destiny out of there. He was having a horrible game. Awesome. Should have put Jed Spence out there, but that's me. I'm not a manager. I don't, I haven't managed for 30 years. You know what I'm saying? I ain't won trophies for different leagues and international stages. That's not me. That's Ainge. So again, I think it's funny that people on YouTube, people on Twitter, myself included, sit up here and say, oh, Ainge, I would have subbed this person at this minute and this moment and da 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 Yeah, you would have, could have, should have. What you should have done is get your coaching badges and done what Ainge done. And then show us on the pitch how it's done with these players. But you don't. And what it is is we sit here and we talk about it because we're content creators and I get that. But to to add the superlatives to a, to a man who I believe deserves respect in in the game you know that's just not my style uh because i believe in a guy's ability to do a job especially uh whenever he's shown me that he can do it when he can get a tune out of these players again you say there's not a problem with the tactics i I, or you say that there is a problem with the tactics. i just don't think that there is versus brighton the tactics weren't not working. It was their press was frustrating us and the players weren't able to retain the ball. Was that Ainge sitting there saying, hey, whenever they press you, give it up with your first touch. Just give it up. That wasn't Ainge. When we lost those other matches, well, to Arsenal specifically, did Ainge sit there and say, oh yeah, hey, uh, Romero, when Saliba dunks on you, look at the ref to save you. Maybe he'll save you in that moment. No. Did he say to let him body you like that? No. Did he say versus Newcastle? That's what I'm saying. It's just people put, oh, Ainge this, Ainge that, and then they take quotes and they take a sentence, they take four or five words from a, a large quote of what he says, and then they make their opinions. And again, I allow people to do whatever they want to do with their opinions. However, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not a sheep. I don't subscribe to people to be influenced. I subscribe to people to hear other people's opinions. And for me, I have my opinions and I know how I feel. And I see Sava talking about facts this, facts that. Fact of the matter is we won five games in a row, but they'll discredit it because, oh, my opinion of this club is X, Y, and Z. Okay. Okay. You can discredit all you want, but the facts are we won five nil. Them are facts. <laughs> let me let me bring hooks in on this, man. Talk to me. What are you saying about Spurs, bro? There's so much to unpack there, Jacob. So, <laughs> so much. Do you know what, yeah? I like to believe I am also not part of the sheeple. You know, I like to believe I form my own opinions and I don't follow the crowd. Um, so I'm go- what I'm going to start with first is, is basically the actual game itself. So I find, as an Arsenal fan, West Ham versus Tottenham, a, a very entertaining game. Like, I get to watch two London teams, one of them always been my rival the other one like, like Dan said after we signed rice they randomly just became our rival out of nowhere and started hating on us but it is a game that it has been very close over the over the last few matches i think it's been like two wins to you one win to them two draws um it is a game that provides a lot of goals so it's definitely an entertaining spectacle and then obviously with the way that tottenham are playing very attacking it's going to be fun to watch and i do believe that Tottenham are most likely going to go on to win this game because West Ham, in my opinion, have been woeful. And I think it's a perfect example of changing your manager and buying a lot of players in the transfer window doesn't necessarily equate to positive things, success. So that's that. Now, on, on to your manager, yeah? I he For me, 
he's the perfect manager for Tottenham fans. Yeah. And the reason why I say this is because, look, I grew up pretty much in Tottenham. I know so many Tottenham fans. And the things that they always say to me is, we want to see entertaining football. We want to be entertained. Like whenever you go to, uh, I won't say it uh, because I, I don't know if I can, but I'll say White Hart Lane this time. But we all know what I want to say. It begins with an S. They just want to see a spectacle. They want they they want to be entertained, yeah. And he does that. Now, where I think the problem with Ange is is he doesn't actually realize when he needs to make a change. And and I say this because yeah, the tactics work offensively, but the tactics do not work defensively at, at all. I'm sorry, I, that Brighton game. Uh, I was pretty much at halftime on, on my watch along. Oh, guys, <laughs> we've been defeated. Spurs are going to win. But then the second half, whoa, what's happened here? And he didn't adapt. All he had to do was bring on a Basuma, who breaks up play, gets physical, battles in the middle, and, and drop back a bit and focus more on defending than attacking. But you guys were like, no, we, we want to score more. We want to go for yeah. more. And yeah, she scored that third and fourth. Yeah, you should have, but you didn't. And we all know in football, you can attack... But is that Ange's fault? That, that, is that, that Ange's that, fault we didn't? Yes, that is Ange's fault because Ange should be telling them, whoa, stop attacking. <laughs> We've already won the game. We're the going game was, for the third and fourth goal, Hooks. But you, but you already won Why would game. we say, if we're going for the third and fourth goal, why would we say, stop? Stop because, what you're doing. But Okay, you don't necessarily need to, to stop attacking completely, but you definitely should limit like your intention and the amount you want to attack because like i said you already won the game the game was already sure won. that's an opinion that is an opinion yeah. about oh, it okay. sure yeah, yeah it's it's my opinion but i mean it's it's kind of like a it's a it's opinion in it it's like part fact part opinion in it it's <laughs> <laughs> like I don't, opinion. Know. I don't know if, i don't know if i agree but I, I i support you Voicing your opinion, Hugs. Okay, I, I, all right. And voicing my opinion. Do you know where I think it actually comes from, yeah? His, I don't think he knows another way because all due respect, I say this with the utmost respect, and correct me if I'm wrong, he's managed in the Australian League. He's managed the Australian national team. He's managed in Japan, yeah? And he's managed Celtic, yeah? Now... Mm -hmm. And respect. he's been successful at every single one yeah, that you've yeah, mentioned. I mean, I mean, it's not hard to be successful in the Australian league. It's so not who, hard. Who, who else has done it then? Who else has uh, done? Who else has done uh, that? Okay, uh, when since it's so easy, who, just just but tell I'm me who just, else has done it. I'm just saying, uh, like, if we're talking about quality of football, yes. If we right, that's that, your opinion, though. Yeah, that's no, your no, opinion. No, How many no, Australian no, matches do you watch? No, How no, many no, Japanese no, matches no, do you watch? Okay, I'm actually. Have you watched Yokohama before? But you're talking about Yokohama. You rate yeah, Yokohama, I, but you ain't I, never watched them, huh? Mm. Okay, okay, Jacob, 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 Jacob. If uh, okay, let's it's like me talking about cars and I ain't know let's, shit about how to change oil. Let's be, real, let's be real now, Jacob. Let's be real. Yeah, there's a massive difference in quality between the Australian League, the Japanese League, the Scottish League, and the Premier League. That's not like, a fact. That is an opinion. No, but continue. No, 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 I just no, want to make no, sure no. we differentiate here because a lot of people want to do that <laughs> Finian a, thing. I don't subscribe to Finians. <laughs> no, I, I it's either a fact <laughs> or it's an opinion. Your opinion of those leagues' talent level is your opinion. I, 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 I think it's a, a very educated Finian. So, but no, that's just your I, opinion, I, I've my friend. The I've watched the Scottish League, and when I've watched the Scottish League over the years, it's either been Rangers dominating or Celtic dominating. That, that's just what it's been. And and Ange didn't really have to do too much different to come into the Scottish League and dominate because Celtic could already dominate. Yeah? So he basically went into a league and tried his football where it worked because, let's be real, it's very easy for this type of football to work. And he's kind of gassed himself up. He's gone, well, when I was in the Australian League, when I was in the Japanese League, when I was in the Scottish League, oh, it worked. I didn't need to do anything else. But, bro... You're in the Premier League Premier. All right. So, again, remember when I said people take yeah, things that he says and they extrapolate it and they misinterpret it? That's what you're doing. And I don't mind it when rival fans do it. I really don't. But it's when Spurs fans do it that I actually have a problem with it. So, if you want me to correct you, I can. But you can continue with, with your... I, uh, yeah, I, I, I'll, I'll, do, <clears throat> I, I, I'll, I'll continue with, with my, my last Finian. Yeah? My last Finian, yeah? It's not Finians. It's, uh, it's opinions. He, but he's a very... He's, he, his arrogance... It's through 
through the roof. Like, absolutely. Do you watch any of these quotes that you're bro, referencing? I, uh, you need to, you need to, you need to, you need to understand this, Jacob. Yeah, I love nothing more than seeing you burn. So whenever you lose, <laughs> I, I make sure. But the I quote you just referenced was before a match, in it, but it was a preseason <laughs> preview his, his match. Reaction. So what are you talking about? That's not that. What you just quoted wasn't a reaction to a loss. It was a pre-match press conference. So, Jacob, that's that's all. For, I I don't want to. So my question is, did you watch that quote that you were I, I, referencing? I don't want to do the semantics in it, but the only thing I know is he's very. This is just a question. Did you watch it or not, or did you just read off of Twitter and hear it online? Sometimes we read off Twitter. Sometimes we watch. I'm an honest guy. So you sometimes didn't. Twitter, okay. That's all you had to say is no. I did not, Jacob. And then move on. Okay, cool. Okay. For, for sake of moving on, I'll say, okay, cool. I, I never watched it. But one thing I do Great. know from him is whenever he's questioned, he doesn't take it well. He actually doesn't. Take, he just doesn't take it well. And he, he, he doesn't know what being humble is, yeah? And he does this thing that annoys me to the ground. What's your opinion? And, and if, Arteta did it, if Arteta did it, I would have the same vim for Arteta is whenever he loses or doesn't get a result, he's he's getting questioned. Oh, um, oh, 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 looking down. Why are you looking down? Look into the camera. Address your fans. They want to see you. Look them in the eye, bro. Like, so do you know in Japanese culture, the one that you were just referencing oh, and yeah, talking oh, down wait, on, wait, did you know it's actually disrespectful uh, to look someone in the eyes uh, when you talk to them? Uh, in Japan, right? Yeah. In Japanese culture. Yeah, bro, we're not in Japan. But you were just saying that he was there. So if a person oh, who's... Oh, 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 this is a Tottenham. Again, so this is your opinion. You're upset with a guy how how he acts in I'm front of camera? Him. Are you his fucking wife? What are we doing here? Why does he why does he always look down, bro? Like Oh, honey, he, you need to look at the camera more. You need to comb your hair better when you're on camera. What is this? What are bro, you talking about? That's that, that is you're talking about opinions. That is so far an opinion. That's so far away from fact. That's just wah. That's just oh, I didn't want lettuce on my burger. Well, pull it off your burger. It's really that simple. I'm just saying, yeah. If, if you're going to be all loud and proud and chest puffed out. <laughs> loud and proud, that's your opinion as well. Just differentiate, please. Chest puffed out, yeah, before the game starts and, you know, in your pre, in your pre, yeah, when you get smoked, come with the same chest, bro. Why, why are you now? He oh, does. That? No, he does. He does not. So, yeah, he so does. And, and another thing, Jacob, another thing, Jacob, I honestly. But see, that's my opinion, just like yours. Oh, I think he does. Yeah, yeah. Well, yours is an opinion. Like I said, mine is opinion. So, uh, like I said, oh, Jacob, you see that? You see? Okay, I just want to make sure we we, we see the the tinted glasses. We have to differentiate, Jacob. And you know, I, I honestly don't care if Tottenham keep him or not. But I do believe, for the betterment of Tottenham, they need to get rid of him. That just that's now that is my opinion. That there, Jacob, that's an opinion. 